thestonesoup.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make my current favourite winter treat. So it's slow cooked lamb shanks with prunes. So we'll jump into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. Lamb shanks. I just get, I love dishes like this because it's so easy. You just pop everything in a pot and then pop it in the oven for hours and then you get this amazing, amazing meal. So I've just, I've quartered, uh, I need four red onions. I could use whatever colour onions you have, but I just like the extra sweetness of red onions. So just slicing them lengthwise and then pulling off any of the papery skin, but don't worry about it too much because it kind of cooks down. So just take the main bits off. And I leave the roots attached so that you get these lovely chunks of onion in the finished uh, dish because they like it kind of helps, helps the onion hold together. It gives you like beautiful texture. So we've got four red onions, four lamb shanks, and then 200 grams of uh, prunes. And the prunes are amazing. They just add a really subtle sweetness to the sauce without like making it crazy. I really, really love the depth that they give. So 200 grams is about um, seven ounces of prunes, and then a can of tomatoes. on the top there and I'm just going to, you don't have to use filtered water for this but a can of um, water as well to make a lovely sauce. So it's not super tomato-y. Tomatoes kind of give a bit of background flavour but they kind of cook down into the sauce with the prune so it's not, I really really love this. And Last ingredient, just a cinnamon quill, which completely optional, but just adds a bit of kind of interesting exotic spice. So then we just pop the lid on and we'll pop it in the oven at 150C, which is uh, 300F, um, for about four or five hours. Our shanks have been in for about four hours. You can see the, just push the tomato down into the sauce. So there's still plenty of liquid in there, which is great. And the onions are looking lovely and cooked. Push the prunes into the sauce so they can flavour. And the meat's starting to come away from the bone. But when I feel it, it's still, it's getting there. It's almost, almost ready. But um, I like it to be like super tender and really falling off the bone by the time it's done. So I think it just needs a little bit longer. And so what I might do is just pop it back in the oven. And I'll, since there's heaps of liquid there, I'll leave it with the lid off and that, that just so it can reduce down a little bit. Things have been in for an extra hour uncovered and you can see they're very dark. It looks pretty dark but that's just the top so don't stress about that and it's actually when you mix it in it's going to have really lovely intense meaty flavours. Um, and if you ha we have a look here like that meat's well and truly falling off the bone when I touch it with the spoon you know I can, I can cut it literally with a spoon so they are done so uh, they're ready to serve I'm just going to serve mine on a bed of baby spinach but you can so if you enjoyed this recipe really encourage you to come on over and visit my blog it's thestonesoup.com and if you sign up for email updates you'll get a free e-cookbook filled with video recipes just like this one so really hope to see you soon